It's an explosion that experts say is far from a failure. For the first time, one of China's private startups, Landspace, sent a rocket into orbit. Its payload made it, but its booster, while trying to land upright, crashed near the launch pad. And I think it's an important uh, milestone for Landspace. They, they proved a couple of different technologies for the first time of any Chinese companies. The Beijing-based firm, only 10 years old, is still hoping to successfully land its booster soon. It would be only the third private company to do so, after Elon Musk's SpaceX and Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin, which only accomplished the same feat a couple weeks ago. From 2015 up to this year, 2025, China's commercial space sector has essentially gone from nothing to a new critical point. That critical point, says this expert, is the dawn of Chinese startups working outside the country's largely military-run space program, hoping to compete with the United States in reusable rocket technology. China's interested in reusable technology uh, because they've determined, and I think correctly, that that's really the key to make access to space less expensive and to be able to get there more quickly and more frequently. Which, analysts say, works towards China's space goals over the next decade and beyond. More efficiently sending satellites into orbit, deliver cargo to the space station, and support lunar and even Martian exploration with higher reliability and lower cost. A pressing priority for China's space startups competing with SpaceX. In the past decade, SpaceX has launched hundreds of reusable rockets, essential for its Starlink internet network, a constellation of satellites able to deliver internet service almost anywhere on the planet. The lack of reusability is a major issue for, for Chinese launch because you, you need reusability if you want to launch dozens or, or you know, a hundred times per year as, as Starlink is doing now pretty routinely. Catching up with Starlink also serves China's strategic interests. Better access to space means that they'll be able to put up more satellites to you know, keep tabs on the U.S. military, or if they were to lose satellites during a conflict, they'd be able to replace them more quickly by having more uh, rapid launch technology on hand. But there's also huge profits to be made during peacetime. With cars and communications now deeply connected to satellites, China's space startups do not want to cede this growing market to American rivals. While the U.S. may be in the lead now, even American analysts expect an increasingly tight race thanks to China's deep bench across the space industry. Mike Valerio, CNN, Beijing.